Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to monetize your Firefox extension. You know, whether you've been wanting to accept one time payments, monthly payments, yearly payments, whatever it is, this video is going to show you how to do that for your Firefox extension. Um, it's really, really easy to do. It's literally just a matter of copying and pasting some code um, and then you're good to go. We made it as easy as possible. So I hope this video is really helpful. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to browserbuild.com. I'm going to leave the link to this in the description. Um, and this is the system that we're going to be using. It's our system. Um, we have basically done all the hard work for you to make it as easy as possible to implement payments into your Firefox add-on or any of your other browser extensions. So once you're on our website, the first thing we're going to do is just while we're here, we're going to open up the getting started and the SDK links in the top um, because we're going to need them later. So we may as well just open them up now. You can open them up later if you want to, but I'm just going to open up now um, so I have them here. Um, and then the next thing we're going to need to do is make an account. So just click getting started and register an account and, uh, you know, verify your email, sign in. Obviously I'm already signed in. So, um, and I already have an account, so it's just logged me in automatically. But once you have done all that and you're logged in, you're going to be taken to the dashboard and this is where we can actually set up the extension. So down here we have the extensions and I'm just going to click new. So name your extension. I'm going to call it Firefox, um, extension. And so here we have the code. So the code is basically a unique identifier that you use um, to remember your uh, extension by, and that's what you're gonna be referencing in the actual code that you write. So you're basically gonna say, you know, I wanna charge this user for this extension, which uh, that goes by this code. So I'm just gonna call it Firefox um, extension and then click create. Okay, so now we have the extension created. Now we need to create an actual plan. So this is what the users are gonna be paying for. So I'm gonna call it pro plan. And then we have the actual price. So this is how much users are gonna be paying. So if they wanna pay $10 and say it's a one-time fee, but you know, it can be monthly, it can be yearly, it can be whatever you want. Um, and then once you're happy with that, just click create plan. And so the plan is now created down here. Take note of the ID. This is what we're gonna be referencing in the code. So um, these are the two things you're gonna to need to use the code and the ID of the plan. So that's all the work we actually need to do on the um, dashboard itself. Now we can get into actually making the extensions code. So open up, just create a brand new folder and open it up in VS Code or whatever your preferred text editor is. Um, and so the first thing we need to do is we need to get the um, SDK. So, uh, this is why we opened up the GitHub earlier because the SDK is on here. There's also a bunch of extra information if you want to take a look, um, for some additional info. Um, and you know, there's a variety of things you can do. You can clone it, you can download the zip, you can do whatever you want. Um, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to, um, actually copy all of this code. Uh, usually there is a, uh, link, a, a button to copy it all. Um, maybe I need to click raw. I'm just going to click con uh, control A, control C on this. I know it's not the best way to do it, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do it this way and then create a new, um, file called browser bill SDK.js. And so now we have the SDK in here. Um, the next step is creating the pop-up itself. So I'm going to create a file called pop up dot. Hey, actually, no, before we do that, sorry, let's create the manifest. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you have a, a bit of knowledge regarding browser extensions. So the manifest is basically, it just provides extra info about the extension itself. It gives a bit of metadata. And so as it's going to be quite basic, it's just going to be some basic uh, metadata info that we're taking from the getting started tutorial that you should have opened up earlier. Um, so I'm just going to copy this code and then paste it into manifest.json. So with the manifest here, um, you know, it's just got the name, it's got the version, it's got a variety of things. Two things we're gonna need to change is that Firefox currently at the time of recording this video doesn't support manifest version three. So we're gonna need to change it to version two. The other thing we're gonna need to change is change this to browser underscore action. Now, I believe those are the only two things that we'll need to change, but um, you know, we can confirm if anything needs to be changed later. So. Once we've got that set up, basically two things I'm going to point out here that are relevant for this is that we have the pop-up defined here. 
pop-up.html. We're going to be creating this in a moment. And this is basically saying that when the user clicks the icon in the toolbar, we want it to show pop-up.html. And then we have the permissions, which is just storage, just because Browsable needs storage to store information about the user so it knows whether they paid or not. So once we've created the manifest, now we need to create the pop-up. So again, copy the code from the getting started tutorial and then pop up .html, create that file. And so this, a few things I'll point out is that we are using bootstrap. Um, a lot of this is just boilerplate code that isn't really relevant, but we are using bootstrap just for the styling. The more important things to know are that we have the SDK imported. This is important if you want to use it in your pop-ups, you need it imported. Then we have popup.js, which we'll create in a moment, which holds all our logic. And so that has access to Browsable so it can interact with Browsable. Then we have, um, we're going to be displaying the user's current status, which is going to be controlled by our pop-up. And we have manage and purchase buttons, which are again, going to be controlled by the popup.js. So once we've done that, we can now get onto the last bit and the most exciting bit, which is the popup.js. So create a file called popup.js. And now we need to, before we get into the code here, we need to do the configuration at the top, which has the extension code and the plan ID. Now, these are the two things that you created earlier. So my extension code is here, Firefox dash extension, obviously use your own. And then the plan ID is 21, 21. So just paste in those details there. And I'm just gonna go through this code here. So we create an instance of Browsable and it's gonna be for the extension that we created. Then this is us getting the user data. So each time the pop-up is loaded, it's gonna get the user data. And then the data has a paid um, attribute. And this is a Boolean. So if it's true, then the user has paid. If it's false, they have not paid. If they have paid, then we're gonna hide the payment button because they've already paid. And we're gonna show the manage button and we're gonna change the paid status to paid. We've also got the payment button handler. So when they click the payment button, we wanna open the payment page for this plan ID. So we want them to purchase this plan ID. Then we have the manage button on click handler. So when I click the manage button, we want to open up the management page. So again, it's pretty much just a lot of one liners when interacting with Browsable, just to make it as easy as possible. And then you can add the relevant logic for your extension. So that's everything we need to do for the actual code. So now we can go back to Firefox and we can actually load up the extension. So click these three bars at the top. Then you want to click add-ons and themes. Then click the setting icon here and click debug add-ons. Once you've done that, you can click load temporary add-on and find your location of where it is and click your manifest.json. Okay, so now we have it. We should see it here. It's in the top right, as you can see the extension that we just made. I've currently not paid, obviously, because I've just installed the extension, but I can click purchase here now and it should load up a pop-up right here. And this is gonna take us to the actual checkout so that user can purchase. Um, you know, the plan that you've specified. So as you can see, it's just a te test purchase because we haven't connected Stripe. So we have the checkout, we have the extension's name, the plan, the price, um, and I can just click purchase. And because it's test, it's gonna skip over any payment things. Um, we're just gonna take this to the processing test page and it's gonna be successful. So I can just return to the extension and restart it as it says. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna load up the extension again. And now I've paid. And now I have the manage button instead of the paid button or the pay button. So manage button, and it's gonna take us to the management page. So uh, we have the extension name at the top and then that purchase that we just made right then. So as you can see, that's literally how easy it is to accept payments in your Firefox extension. It's really, really easy. Um, we made it as simple as possible. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or contact our support team. Um, thank you so much for watching, have a good one.